In June 2021, Klaxoon has released the new version of its whiteboard, Klaxoon Board Hybrid. I have just made a video comparing the different whiteboards present on the market, like Mirror, Mural, which by the way, you should watch because it's just a great video. And Klaxoon was part of the review. So thanks Klaxoon, now I have to make another video. Just kidding. So what's new in the new board hybrid? Why is it called hybrid? And is it worth it? Well, you can find the answers by watching the BIOS keynote from Klaxoon launch event, or you can watch this video, where I'll tell you the truth. Hoping the Klaxoon doesn't release a new board tomorrow. Before I even start with the review, I want to share with you what I think is the most important new feature. And that has nothing to do with board hybrid. Klaxoon now has a free plan. Thank you, Klaxoon! Until June, you could just sign up for a trial version, at the end of which you could either pay for a subscription or lose your work. So go and sign up for a free account so you can follow along. I've divided these videos in chapters that you can navigate by clicking the links in the description. So let's go! I'll start by showing you around. This session is for those of you who don't know Klaxoon or who need a refresher. If you already know the board very well, just skip to the next section. I have a paid license, so some features may not be available in the free plan. Let's create a new board. We can create a blank one or use one of the existing templates. There are a number of very useful and good-looking templates that will cover all your needs. For the purpose of this video, I will use the Good Morning Meeting template. This is great to kickstart the day and quickly synchronize your actions. You can zoom out or in with your mouse wheel. Here at the top right, you have a map of your board, so you always know where you are. And by clicking on these four arrows, you can enter the full screen mode. Klaxoon has an infinite canvas. Every template has instructions that will help you prepare your meeting, workshop, or whatever you're using the board for. You'll see ideas and examples on how to use it, but obviously you can personalize it, adapt it to your needs, and make it yours. This template is made for the morning meeting for each and everyone to share in two minutes the action items. You'll find a grid for the week with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And here you will find a space to insert a picture of all the team members that will give an update. As a facilitator, you have to divide your work into three parts. This applies to any kind of whiteboard, not just Klaxoon. First, you have to prepare the board by adapting the template, what Klaxoon calls personalization. That's like preparing your room and activities before a face-to-face -face meeting. As the second step, once the board is ready, you will have to launch it and invite participants. The third step is the actual meeting or workshop, where you facilitate live or asynchronously the board activities. Let's quickly prepare this board and explore what are the main features. Starting from the bottom, we have a series of controls. The first one is the selection tool, single click, and click on the unlock icon. Now the object is selected, and if I drag it, I can move it. Let's also unlock this text. The second tool is the select picker. With it, I can drag and select multiple objects. By clicking this icon, I can group them, so now I can move them together. Here at the top, you have a series of controls. You can use this one to view the content, so view the image, move to back or front objects, align them, arrange them, edit them, and I can also duplicate. You can undo or redo with these arrows here, or as usual, by clicking Ctrl or Command Z or Ctrl Command Y. Here you can select the color, here you insert text, here you have a drawing tool with three thicknesses. That works best if you have a drawing pad, but you can also use your mouse. There's the Select Form tool. You can insert patterns, for example, a SWOT analysis, a weekly schedule, which is exactly what's been inserted in this template, or various backgrounds. There's also a new pen tool, which we will look at in the next section. I will also keep questions and connectors for the next section. And then there is the eraser. So let me remove the container. Moving to the bottom right of the board, you have some important settings. If you select only board, then you will be able to only move the board, so you can avoid accidentally to move things around. Or you can select which objects you can move. Then you can import content, like a CSV file, any type of file, and we'll look at it in the next section, files from Jira integration, sketches or images. You can take a snapshot of the board, which is going to be saved here. We can search for content, and then you have the settings options. 
Here, as a facilitator, you can decide what participants can do. You can show the legend, the mini board, that is the map I was referring to before. If you have included objectives, then you can show objectives, insert and show a locked background, show grid, and a magnet tool to align objects to the grid. Add new colors, and you can also assign a legend to the colors. So yellow will be in this case to do, blue in progress, green done, and pink difficulties. You can assign categories to ideas and also dimensions. And last but not least, you can activate smart zones that will help you grouping ideas by category and dimension. This is everything you have to work on in the preparation phase. So it's your job as a facilitator. You'll get familiar with it very quickly and you will probably be using over and over the same features. So the technical preparation work will take very little time after you've done it the first time and you'll be able to focus on the conceptual part of the preparation. Once you've prepared the board, it's now time to move to the second phase. That is, launch it and invite participants. Click on share and then you can invite participants by entering their email address or through an existing network. Or you can ask participants to access the board with a code. They will either have to provide an email address to log in, or you can allow them to join with a nickname. Once you're ready, click on Shared Board. Now the board is live and is ready for collaboration. I have not invited any participant via email, but the details to access the board are always available here at the bottom left. If you click on it, then you can just share this link with the participants, or if they are on mobile, they can scan the QR code. It's now time to provide the weekly update. Adrian can click on the plus icon at the bottom of the screen to insert an idea. Ideas can be text, and the idea will be posted on the board as a sticky note. It can be resized and also edited. Actually, we had assigned a different color for each category. We can always go back to an idea and change the color. And let's make it green. That's useful also if you want to update ideas that were shared at previous meetings. If I like the idea, I can put a heart on it. Ideas can also be drawings or sketches. Ideas can also be files. I'll insert a picture for now. There is something new in Board Hybrid that I'll share with you in the next section. At the top right, you have the live function, which I'll cover in a minute. Pause button, which will pause activities on the board for everyone. And the stopwatch or a timer that can be very handy for certain type of activities. And here you have the list of all participants. This was the overview of the classic features of Klaxoon Board. Let's now go find out what's new in Klaxoon Board Hybrid. So why is it called hybrid? I share with you what is my understanding, but please Klaxoon let me know if I got it wrong. Klaxoon is trying to offer a tool that adapts to what is and will be the new way of working the post-COVID new work normal. More than ever, teams will work in a hybrid way. Some members may work from home, some others are in the office, others are working while they are on a train, and people may be on different time zones. I see board hybrid as a virtual office space where teams can meet, discuss, see each other, share files, and be productive by working synchronously or asynchronously. Will Klaxoon succeed? In the next session, I will show you what are the features that Klaxoon claim will revolutionize the way we work, and also what I think could be some potential hurdles. The most important new feature is that now you can share any type of file. Klaxoon is adding a new dimension to collaboration, which is the visual aspect that's offered by a board. Think of the way you're sharing files today. You send emails or you share folders with your team on OneDrive. However, you always have to go and look for something. Now Klaxoon allows to place and visualize a file on the board. You can connect it to ideas, to graphic elements, or add a question. And this makes the whole experience more immediate clearer, easier to remember and visually appealing. Instead of sending attachments to emails that get lost in the inbox, you can now share them on the board, which makes them easier to reach and more contextualized. You and participants can now share through ideas any type of file. Click on plus, click on the file option, and then browse your computer. You can add Word documents, PowerPoints, PDF files, even graphic design files, now, for example, I'm adding an Adobe Illustrator file. Basically, any kind of file. What's nice is that files can also be viewed on the board. If the file contains multiple pages, 
Then you can split each page into a new idea. This file had two pages. So now I have two ideas with one page in each idea. Ideas can then be moved and used independently. The second feature are the new connectors. Connectors are very helpful to link ideas and create, for example, mind maps. By clicking on the link ideas icon, we can then select ideas and connect them. As you see, the circle has appeared now in the center of the idea. That means that the connector drawing feature is enabled. To link ideas, simply click on one idea and while you hold the click button, go to the other idea you want to link and then release. And let's do the same between this idea and this one. Now, if we move ideas around, the links will be kept so that if we want to reorganize the board, we won't lose the connection between the ideas. The color, thickness or shape of connectors can be changed. So for example, if we want to keep the colors that we've assigned to the different categories here, we could mark this one as in progress, this one as a difficulty. We can also change the endings of the connector. Let's put an arrow here and a square here. This one, we can make it thicker and dot it. I really love how this works. The next very nice feature is questions. Questions were present also in the previous version of the board, but now they can be added to single ideas. Let's click on this idea and add a question. There are different types of questions. Voting, poll, yes, no, or rating. Challenge, where you ask a question and participants will have to provide the right answer with the activity ending automatically when the first participant provides the correct answer. And then Storm, where participants can give ideas that contribute to a word cloud. So let's do a voting session and I want to give it a rating. Now the question is embedded in the idea and if we move the idea, the question moves with it. If we want to detach it from the idea at a later stage, we can always do it. Also, questions can live by their own, meaning that if we want to gather the opinion of our team that is not currently on the board, you can share this question and ask the other team members to vote on it. Just copy the link and send it to those who are currently offline. Being the facilitator, I can't vote. I'm not sure this can be changed, but if that's not the case, that's a feature request I'd like to ask to Klaxoon. As often, the meeting organizer is part of the team and wants to vote too. You're not limited to just one question per idea but you can add as many questions as you wish. Answers to questions will display live as members complete them. Another main feature is live. This is also not new, but it has some improvements. Live is Klaxoon video conferencing platform. So why should you use Klaxoon Live instead of Zoom or Teams? Well, I don't think Klaxoon intends to and will replace the other platforms, but I see a use for it for doing spontaneous meetings with participants that are already part of the board. For example, if a quick clarification needs to be made or if two team members are working synchronously on the board and need the feedback of a third member that is currently not working on it, then this third member can be asked to join the discussion via live. To start a live, go to the top right of your screen and click on the live icon. A small detail that I find cool is that you can set the meeting duration to 5, 15 or 30 minutes. You can always snooze it if you need more time, but having a timer can help a team be more efficient. So for a morning catch up, 15 minutes could be good. Now I don't have my camera on but the video will display directly on the board, so you can see each other while working on it at the same time. Live is now up for 50 participants. It was only 15 before, and this could be useful for larger teams. Here at the top, you have the live meeting controls, and the new feature is that now you can share your screen. And participants will see your screen sharing directly on the board. And let's take a snapshot of the screen share. This has been saved and placed on the board as an idea. Live is light on resources, so Klaxoon claim that it can be used also on the go when you have low bandwidth. That said, you're not forced to use Live, as you can use your preferred video conferencing platform and launch it from within Klaxoon. Another small new feature on the graphics side is the pen tool. Click on the select form icon and here at the top you'll see the pen tool. This tool can be used to create new shapes or edit existing ones. Let's try to draw a water drop. What I haven't figured out yet is how to grab the handles to insert curvature after I've closed the shape. If you know that, please let me know in the comments. The last thing worth mentioning is that Klaxoon is continuously working on integrating its platform with third-party ones. And at the moment, it has integrations with Teams and Jira, at least to my knowledge.
Two features that other boards have and that I would like to see implemented in the future are smart shapes, that is the automatic recognition by the software of the shape you are drawing, and more advanced voting options. So is it worth it? I'm a big Klaxoon fan. I was it before the hybrid release and I am it now. I like the fact that Klaxoon adapt fast to the new needs and to the change in work. And I think that these new features go in the right direction. So my answer is yes, it is worth it. At the same time, I have a couple of points for reflection. The first is that I find the live video conferencing tool very nice in theory. Personally, I've used it very, very seldom. Why? I don't actually know, probably because I'm just used to Zoom and I don't think that Klaxoon Live gives me a good enough reason to change my habits. If you have tried Live, please share your experience here in the comments. My second reflection concerns file sharing. It's great that with the Klaxoon Board Hybrid, we can visualize files on the board. However, we can only see them and not edit them. So if the idea is to provide an ecosystem, an office space from where we can do everything, then in the future, it would be useful to have integrations with other applications. And the ability to edit files from the board. Also to make sure that teams are working on the latest version of a document. My third thought is on the adoption of the board. So if you know what you're doing with these tools, then great. And I know that Klaxoon and probably other companies too are providing trainings to large customers. But it's not difficult to learn the tool itself. What I find more challenging is that it will take a change in the way that team leaders or project leaders work and think. If they need to lead project activities in a whiteboard space, then they will have to be willing to invest the time to adopt this solution. And I think this change needs to be promoted within the corporate environment. How will it go? Let's see. Please subscribe to support my channel and watch this next video, which is the review on the whiteboards existing on the market. See you in my next digital tip.